This video is about Nigel Sinvisc Visco Supplementation Injection. I am Dr. Anil Kumar, Specialist Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon, Trinidad and Tobago. This is a 56 year old patient with history of chronic bilateral knee pain, especially on medial side of the knee joint with intermittent early morning stiffness and occasional swelling. He was symptom free for three years after receiving Synvisc visco supplementation injection three years ago. He has decided to repeat the gel injection in both knees. These are the radiographs of both knee joints showing features of mild to moderate osteoarthritis of medial compartment. Here I have three regular 2 ml Synvisc and one 6 ml Synvisc 1 injection which will be given to the both knee joints. Patient is placed comfortably on the examination table with his legs hanging free at 90 degrees without foot rest. Knees are cleaned thoroughly with skin antiseptic. Here I am using 2% chlorhexidin with 70% isopropyl alcohol swabs. After cleaning the knee joints, the joint line soft spot triangle is marked medial to inferior fold of the patella and patella tendon, anterior medial tibial plateau slash meniscus and medial femoral condyle. Skin is sprayed with ethyl chloride, a local infiltration with 1% xylocaine injection to skin, cicpitinous tissues, retropatellar fat pad and synovium. Similar procedure is repeated to the right knee. First 6 ml Synvisc 1 injection is injected to the left knee. Needle tip is entered at the same spot where the local anesthesia was injected. Patient has absolutely no pain or discomfort and hence I can take my time and make sure the tip of the needle is inside the joint space against the femoral condyle or intercondylar space posterior to inferior pole of the patella. Similar technique is used for the right knee, however here the 2 ml Synvisc injections, 3 syringes are given through the same needle left in situ after the first syringe injection.
I usually advise the patient to rest and there should be no strenuous physical activities for 24 to 48 hours. Look for any swelling and discomfort or warmth of the knee joints. If any, I will advise to take simple anti-inflammatory medications for 2 to 3 days as necessary. Like this video, please subscribe and share and thank you very much for watching this video.